and then you're going to hinge from your hips, bringing your butt back in space. And then I want you to pause at the bottom, especially the first time. Now, you'll notice that my bottom is not all the way down here. I'm stopping as soon as I feel like, one, I might need to bend my knees more and bring my shins out of vertical, or my back starts to round. So this is not about... Today, we're gonna to talk about hip hinging, which is a fantastic way to have your back work for you for your lifetime. If you're a yogi or a hypermobile person, this movement we found is really hard to teach you and get into your body because what you've done in your life is so different than this, right? In our yoga practice, when we fold forward, we fold forward and keep our hips right over our knees and really stretch the hamstrings a lot, which isn't necessarily bad to do, but if you're trying to pick something up like this, when you come back up, there is so much load on your low back, bringing it up in front of you like this. And with that much curve on your back, it's not a sustainable way to move things around, to lift them up and be able to set them back down for a lifetime without back pain. So we're gonna start with the foundations of how to hinge from your hip. The basics are your shin bones are gonna stay in the exact same place that they are. Basically, they're gonna stay perpendicular to the ground the entire time. And what's gonna move is the butt is gonna go back in space. Now, where we're moving from is the hip joint, which is actually way down here. So from here all the way up to the top of my head, imagine is like a pull. There's no movement happening from here to here at all. The only movement is maybe my breath helping my brace, but otherwise this is moving as one solid unit so that we can get the butt to turn on which is how we lift things up without harming our back as we use our butt. So in order for that to happen, the knees are gonna have to bend a little bit, but this is not a squat movement where we're trying to drive the knees forward. To keep the shins right over the ankles, the knees bend a little bit and the butt goes back. So let me show you. You're gonna have your hands on the front of your thighs. You're gonna take a 360 degree breath into this whole area and down into the pelvic floor so that you can keep it neutral. And then you're gonna hinge from your hips, bringing your butt back in space. And then I want you to pause at the bottom, especially the first time. Now, you'll notice that my bottom is not all the way down here. I'm stopping as soon as I feel like, one, I might need to bend my knees more and bring my shins out of vertical or my back starts to round. So this is not about getting all the way down to the floor right now. And then while you're at the bottom, I want you to notice where your weight is on your feet. So even though you brought your hips back in space, I still want your weight to be centered on that tripod foot, which I'll explain in just a moment. So that you can come back up and stay with the solid foundation of your feet. Again, only moving from here. So that tripod foot is making sure that your weight is underneath your big toe, your little toe, and your heel bone evenly. A lot of times when we start to shift our hip back, people's toes will literally come up off the ground and that's not what we're trying to do. So let me show you just a few more. Also, let's show you this way. My feet are about hip width apart, not any wider, and they're turned out just a little bit. You're screwing your feet down into the floor this way, and you're gonna feel that immediately turns your butt on. This is all about how do we get your butt to actually fire to support your back. And then you breathe before every rep, slide the hands down the front of the thighs, thinking butt back, butt back, butt back, Pause at the bottom and check in. Where's your weight on your feet? Make sure it's centered. And then press down through the floor to use your glutes to lift yourself back up. A super common thing that we see coming out of the bottom is people thinking about lifting from their back. And do you see how that brings a huge arch into my spine? So it's not about lifting from your back. We're keeping all of this completely neutral. And it's about pressing down through the feet to engage the butt muscles to bring you up, okay? And that is a lot of words to start to understand how to hip hinge for the health of your spine.